The Evergreen F-16 Fighting Falcon is widely acknowledged as one of the most efficient and versatile jet fighters that have been developed in the history of mankind. Its multiplicity in the various roles has won it worldwide popularity. About 3,000 F-16s are operational in 25 different nations today, which shows the aircraft's ability to stay a formidable combat aircraft. The F-16 was first introduced in the 1970s, and it holds a strong presence in modern aviation even today just because of its flexibility. Join us as we delve into the details of how F-16 has remained a competitive weapon in the world of aviation. There are numerous air forces that use the F-16 for many different operations, and there is no doubt in saying that it will stay in service for the years to come. When it comes to the marvelous history of this aircraft, it has always proved itself greater than time. It has remained involved in over 400,000 combat missions and has logged more than 19 million flight hours. This exceptional track record has secured its place as a critical asset to different air forces all over the world. What makes the F-16 superior is its speed, maneuverability and capabilities in air-to-air -air fights. Not only it is a highly performing asset, but is also highly valued in terms of money. Many countries who don't have enough budget to keep their military technology world standard prefer to choose F-16 because of its capability that is the marvellous bet for money. The other cool feature of the F-16 is its cockpit design, which concentrates more on the visibility of the pilot. The single-piece, bird-proof, polycarbonate bubble canopy is designed to give the pilot an exceptional 360-degree view with a 40-degree look-down angle over the side and 15 degrees over the nose. The height of the cockpit seat is also increased, which makes the visibility even better. Unlike other fighters, the canopy of the F-16s does not have a forward bow frame, so this means the vision is not obstructed anywhere and the pilot can focus more on the target. The F-16 Fighting Falcon, which has served the US military for over 40 years, is planned to stay in operation by 2048, but it will need some technological modifications to bring up the technology standards that would be of sufficient efficiency to meet contemporary demands of modern warships and complete the advanced stealth fighters, long-range missiles and fourth-generation, 4.5-generation advanced fighters. Evolution of this process moved a considerable step ahead on January 9th, when a facility in Baltimore finished the AN-APG-83 Scalable Agile Beam Radars installation into nose cones of 72 National Guard F-16Cs and Ds. The new AN-APG-83 radar for the F-16, in fact, marks a significant advance in technology for the platform, taking advantage of 85% of the capabilities of the advanced APG-81 radar, as used in the latest F-35 stealth fighters. On the other hand, the APG-83 is geared towards cost-effectiveness and compatibility with the F-16, so this upgrade maintains its superiority. The F-16 has either General Electric F-110GE-129 or Pratt & Whitney F-100PW-229, depending on its country of origin. It is an agile maneuverer, and can perform 9G maneuvers, which makes it one of the first fighter aircraft built specifically to perform such extreme maneuvers. The F-16 has a speed above the speed of sound that is twice that of Mach 2, and can respond quickly to threats and easily enter and exit combat situations. This is a highly adaptable fighter jet that has nine hardpoints that provide options for different mission needs, such as air-air and air-surface missions with a variety of missiles for air-to-air -air engagements, ranging from the AIM-9 Sidewinder, AM-120 AMRAAM, AM-7 Sparrow, Raphael Python, to the advanced AIM-9X Sidewinder, it is more effective for targeting short-range targets. The capabilities of F-16s to air-to-surface operations consist of a variety of payloads for these options, like AGM-65 Maverick, AGM-88 Harm, AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missiles, and AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon. Other weapons that it can be armed with include anti-ship missiles, such as the AGM-84 Harpoon and AGM-119 Penguin. In addition, the F-16 comes with a bouquet of bomb classes, such as the CBU-87, CBU-89, CBU-97, and General Purpose Bombs. It also features the GDS-UK bombing fuse and the small diameter bomb, SDB, with dot plotting modes, which are designed to be insensitive munitions. 
the F-16 has an effective short-range defense capability that is armed with a 20mm General Electric M61A1 multi-barrel cannon that shoots at a rate of 6,000 rounds per minute. This particular cannon is most commonly used to be a second strike weapon, following the use of other weapons or where the lethal ordnance is not available. Thus, the F-16 has a viable secondary option in the event of such combat. All the way through its service life, the F-16 has been marked by a comprehensive series of upgrades that have been refined over the years in terms of single and two-seaters alike in increasing block numbers. The modifications that are connected to such enhancements include software, hardware, systems, compatibility of weapons and structural changes, among other changes. In addition, there are the F-16 close air support and reconnaissance as well as the test variants which maintain the status of the F-16 as a valued US military asset. F-16 Fighting Falcon has a strong background in development and evolution process in which different variants have been developed for specific air forces across the world. The first in production variant, the F-16AB, appeared in 1979 and it became the most numerous one of all the F-16s having produced 475 units. Significantly, it was inducted into the US Air Force and in a short time proved its mettle in actual combat and tactical operations. The F-16CD variants were produced after the success of the F-16AB, the Block 25 variant being the first one that started production in 1984. This was an upgrade that added better cockpit avionics and radar in the aircraft, making it have all-weather operational capacity while being able to use beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles such as the AIM-7 and AIM-120. Following the course of the lineage of improvements, the F-16EF turned out to be the advanced variants of the F-16 Fighting Falcon, based on what had been previously accomplished in the F-16CD Block 5052. These versions also featured a number of improvements over the previous iterations such as the use of conformal fuel tanks to increase the aircraft's operational range. The introduction of an APG-80 AESA radar system for better situational awareness and the implementation of a sophisticated avionics and weapons system. It is important to note that the first F-16EF was delivered to the United Arab Emirates in 2004, and these aircraft continue to be in active service up to date demonstrating their timeliness and usefulness. Specifically, another interpretation of this situation was the F-16IN Super Viper as a variant specifically conceptualized to replace MiG-21 fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. The F-16IN, designed based on the F-16EEF Block 60 variant, incorporated a tailored set of modifications intended to fulfill the needs of the Indian Air Force's specific demands. These upgrades took place in technologies such as conformal fuel and mechanically enlarged airframe, active elongated lower joint radar system electronically scanned array. Nevertheless, despite its promising design, the Indian government decided to purchase the French-built Dassault Rafale and accordingly shelved their plans for F-16IN fighter planes. Coming towards the Middle East theme, the F-16IQ model was exclusively created for the Iraqi Air Force primarily on the basis of a modified variant of this type F-16CD Block 52+. This version was subjected to modifications and improvements made to meet the demands of the Iraqi army. From its establishment on the 1st of November 2014 until now, the F-16IQ has proven to be effective in providing a greater solution for Iraqi Air Force combat capabilities against terrorist groups such as ISIS by demonstrating its adaptability and efficiency despite harsh operating environments. Naval aviation witnessed operation of the F-16N by the United States Navy as an adversary aircraft. This variant or F-16CD Block 30 version that had been powered by General Electric F-110 GE-100 engine with a super cruise feature proved to have remarkable performance capabilities. The F-16N, which was a widely utilized and the aircraft for top gun training in the Navy of America, has been used by other states through interim agreement on leasing them. However, the last F-16N was retired from commission in 2018, which would be an end to this phase of career for this specification. At last is Lockheed Martin F-16V, the final and most advanced version of all versions from this series. Here technology reached its finest form in the world of combat flight simulators. The release of the F-16V 
popularly known as the Viper configuration, was done in Singapore Airshow during February in 2012, and this can be considered a marked step forward. On the one hand, it is available as a newly constructed aircraft and acts as an upgrade to many of the existing F-16 versions. The F-16V has been operational since 2017, and the contract is already signed by Taiwan, Bahrain, Slovakia for deploying it in forces. One important improvement is the QF-16, a significant variation of the F-16 Fighting Falcon, which was transformed into an unmanned air target drone. QF-16, which was initially initiated by the US Air Force, is a program aimed at replacing an aged inventory of its quad-stretch F-4 target drone fleet that were actually the modified F-4 Phantom II aircraft. The QF-16 may be the next version, as they share many similarities in avionics and weapons, but it has additional gear for remote control telemetry. Operating the drone from a ground station is straightforward, making it primarily a target for training and testing various weapon systems. Since 2014, the QF-16 program has been active and extensively used by the US Air Force and other military units for training and testing purposes. What does the future hold for F-16? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.